In this video, I'm going to take you through a couple of example problems from the 3-1-A lesson slope intercept form. Uh, feel free to pause the video, rewind it. Eventually, please fill this in your lesson. Um, if you feel like you got it, you can also skip ahead to some of the more difficult problems or just try the problems and then check them with the key. Please make sure you do work through the problems that are presented in the video. Let's take a look at number one. It says define slope intercept form, draw a graph and state the slope and the y-intercept of your graph. And slope intercept form. is that y equals mx plus b equation that we derived at the end of module two. And we have our slope and we have our y-intercept, hence why it's called slope intercept form. And we're going to just come up with a sample problem to graph, which is, let's say y equals negative one half x minus three. The slope would be negative one half. The y-intercept would be zero comma negative three. And in order to graph this efficiently, what we're going to do is we're going to first plot the point that we know, which is the y-intercept. And then secondly, we're going to use the slope to find more points on the line, which means we're going to rise down one and right two to produce a negative one-half slope. You just need two points. That'll be sufficient, but I'm going to plot a couple more just to get a more accurate sketch. Number two, on some of the problems below, they will have some sort of table or graph or story, and we're going to write or fill out all the info for it. This one says, um, or presents us with a graph, and we can see that the y-intercept is 0, 2, that the slope, it's hard to pick a point, that one looks close, but we're going to maybe say that one is maybe a good point. We'll try another one, up one over three, up one over three. And if we keep landing down one, left three on points that are on the graph, we know that it was not actually a half, it was a third. That was one third. And that means that the equation was y equals one third x plus two. Where we plug in our m and we plug in our b. We're gonna practice writing our y-intercepts or b's as ordered pairs. And whenever we write our slope, we do not include an x value there. That's just for the equation. Number three is a trick question of sorts. Um, this, I can tell, is a zero slope or horizontal line. I can tell that the y-intercept is at zero comma negative three. And I notice that this point has an x value, or excuse me, a y value of negative three. And this point has a y value of negative three. And this point and this point and all the points on this line have a y value of negative three. So my equation will be y equals zero x minus three, or better known as y equals negative three, which means that all points in this line have negative three as their y part of their ordered pair. I'm gonna skip ahead. Again, feel free to pause or replay video, part of this video. I'm gonna let you try those. I'm gonna go down to number nine and try one of these cross product ones that look like what we did in module two. The instructions for this one say that we wanna rewrite this into slope intercept form to find M and B without having to look at the graph. So what we're going to do is cross multiply and carefully pair up that negative sign. And then we'll isolate y to get it into slope intercept form, also known as y equals mx plus b. We'll divide all terms by two to get y equals negative one half x plus one. That would mean that my slope is negative one half. My y intercept is zero comma one. Again, writing those y intercepts as ordered pairs.
Again, I'm going to skip ahead. You're going to fill out these as well as the ones I've done. Let's look at the last part of the lesson. These ones, we're going to kind of do the same thing in a bit more. We're going to rewrite this into slope intercept form. We're going to write what our slope is. We might even want to write it as a fraction for graphing purposes, although we know it's best represented as four. Our y-intercept is zero comma negative three. And we will then graph this efficiently with this new technique that we first plot the y-intercept and we use the slope to plot more points. All right, let's look at a couple more. I'm gonna kind of skip that one and let's look at 16 and 17 to kind of wrap this up. On 16, I'm gonna get this into slope intercept form. I'm going to move the y's to the same side. And in this strange case, I'm also clear, which I could have done at the beginning. I get an equation that does not have any y's in it. So this is actually considered slope intercept form for this one. And this means that I'm looking for all points that have an x part of their ordered pair at 1 which would be a vertical line. So this line has an undefined slope, and the y-intercept is not present. We will write none and not leave that blank because it's parallel to the y-axis. We'll just kind of start maybe 17, this one has decimals, so we can also use any techniques that we learned for solving equations, and we know we're solving for y, and so we will clear this. Move the x over with the constant. And we want to keep this as a fraction so we can graph that. So ideally, we're not going to do decimals with our um, slope for graphing purposes. So feel free to replay the video or fill in the problems. I'll eventually post the key. Please make sure you finish all the problems, even the ones I skipped.